Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our body image series. If you're new here, hi, I'm Danny Taylor. Myself and my husband Giacomo own veganproteins.com. And here on this channel, we talk about nutrition, training, and also mindset. And that is part of what this series is about today. Body image is a huge struggle for a lot of people that gets in the way of their training goals, their athletic goals, and also just their life goals. So this series is taking actionable steps to help improve your body image. If you haven't seen the first episode, I recommend you go back and watch that one because it's a much better introduction than that. So today's action step is going to sound so simple, but I cannot explain the difference that this makes. Always wear clothes that you are comfortable in. This absolutely changed my life. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this in any of the videos, but you'll notice that I'm often wearing long sleeves, long sleeve shirts, um, baggy sweatshirts. It is because I am so comfortable in those things, much more so than a t-shirt, personally. I actually can't wear t-shirts, it's kind of funny. So what do I mean by always wear comfortable clothing? I don't mean always wear like sloppy clothing or anything like that. I mean clothing that you physically feel comfortable in. And if you have any kind of sensory issues, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I used to have to wear a uniform to work many years ago and I didn't have any say in what I had to wear. And the waistband of the pants that we had to wear, oftentimes they would kind of cut into me because they just didn't fit me properly. Um, if I moved a certain way, they'd cut into me and suddenly all I could think about was that area where they were cutting into me. And it made it really, really uncomfortable to work. I felt like I would move awkwardly to try to avoid it. Not only did I feel less confident in my own body, but I absolutely with 100% certainty know that I expressed myself in a less confident way because I was uncomfortable. And it set a light bulb moment off for me. One, I sized those pants up <laughs> and that helped a lot. But also I started thinking about what are other types of clothing that bother me. And for me personally, it's anything that cuts into me at all. So anything that cuts in at the waistband, anything that cuts in at like mid arm or even like at my ankles or like in joggers that are like halfway down your calves. To me, that is very uncomfortable and makes me hyper aware of my body. And if you already have some sort of body image issues going on, chances are quite good. You're already pretty aware of your body, particularly if it's a part of your body that you're already not super confident in. Things that bring attention to those areas physically can be excruciating, in my opinion, to wear. So make a pact with yourself that you're not going to wear something that's uncomfortable, even if you look great in it. This is not about clothing not looking good on you or not. I have had lots of clothes that I own that when I put them on and look at them, I think they look pretty good actually. But the way that they feel on my skin is like too much for me and I don't like it. And I find myself feeling uncomfortable throughout the whole day. So I don't wear those things anymore. And it has made a massive difference in not just the way that I feel, but also the way that I feel like I move through the world because I'm not constantly trying to shrink away from that feeling. I'm not trying to like hide how uncomfortable I am about this particular item of clothing that isn't feeling great. And sometimes this can change, you know, bodies change. They fluctuate literally over the course of a day, which was one of your questions. Like why does the body fluctuate throughout the course of a day? I feel like that's, I'll save that for a different time, but it does happen. One morning, a certain pair of pants could fit you like a glove. The next morning they could fit a little bit funny. If you put something on and after a couple minutes, you realize like, Oh, this, uh, this is not the thing today change, just change. <laughs> and if you constantly put it on and it's not comfortable, maybe that's just not like the right item of clothing for you. And just because it's waistbands and, and sleeves for me, it could be something totally, totally different for you. It could be a part of your body that's exposed that makes you uncomfortable. That's 
very, very possible. In my line of work in the fitness industry, a lot of times I've had to go out and work at fitness expos. And part of the gig is you have to kind of dress a certain way when you're working at those places. And so many of my friends are more than comfortable to be walking around in short shorts and a sports bra. For me, I'm just not comfortable doing that. It doesn't feel great to me. Uh, but it's part of the job description and sometimes in those instances I have to do it but it's always a reminder to me like ugh, this is uncomfortable I don't like that I'm more comfortable I appear more confident and in my opinion therefore I actually think I look better when I'm more covered up whether or not I'm like prep ready or in the full-blown off season the way my body actually looks has nothing to do with it the energy that I'm able to exude is always going to be better if I'm more comfortable in what I'm wearing. And I feel like that could be the same for you. On the flip side, maybe you don't like having certain parts of your body covered up. Maybe wearing a turtleneck would feel like you're being strangled and you would prefer something low cut. There's no one size fits all here. It's just making sure that the clothing that you're wearing feels comfortable, recognizing those rules. I don't like stuff with a tight waistband. I don't like t-shirts. I don't buy those things anymore, ever. So I know this is a very simple tip. Let me know, first of all, let me know what it is, what type of clothing is it that makes you feel uncomfortable and what are you going to commit to not force yourself to wear anymore because you feel like you have to. Let me know, guys. Anyway, if you're enjoying this series so far, please give it a like, it really helps the channel. Feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, all of that jazz. I really look forward to next week's tip. It's going to be a good one, and it's Easter Sunday. I have some high-protein cinnamon rolls in the kitchen going. I'm gonna go take those out of the oven, have a delicious brunch with Giacomo, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.